Assalamu alaikum. I'm John Abizay, current ambassador of the United States of America to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I want you to look over here at this picture of Franklin Delano Roosevelt and King Abdulaziz of Saudi Arabia, taken back in the day of the 14th of February, 1945, when they met on board this cruiser, the USS Quincy, 75 years ago. We want to take a look back at some of those important moments. Chevron won a concession to explore in eastern Saudi Arabia and discovered oil in 1938. 1940, the U.S. established full diplomatic relations with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. March 1949, the legation in Jeddah was elevated to an embassy when Jay Childs presented his credentials as Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary. September 26, 1984, the U.S. liaison office in Riyadh was raised to a rank of embassy, while the embassy in Jeddah became a consular general. It was there that King Al Saud agreed to allow the United States military to operate in Saudi Arabia. Several years later, under a mutual defense agreement, the United States established military training missions which advised the Saudi armed forces on related military equipment. Our military cooperation with the Kingdom is a partnership that still continues to this day. And since the beginning of our relationship, 12 U.S. Presidents have visited the Kingdom, starting with Franklin Roosevelt in 1945 through current U.S. President Donald Trump, who visited for his first official overseas trip following his inauguration as President.